Okay, so we're going to do these hydrangeas. This is our reference photo. It's got a lot of blue and purple and pink and hot pink. Uh, the light pink is uh, very, very light, so I'm going to use a lot of water here. The leaves are very, very dark, so just keep that nearby. And this is what we are going to end up with is this piece here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do uh, a smaller version of this. And um, what I want to do is get my paint kind of mixed up to begin with. I'm going to start with the pink one and I'm just going to lightly put in my color and I'm working with water and paint. You can tell that it is extremely washy. Hydrangea blooms are very round, so kind of keep that in mind as you go. Um, go ahead and dab in water and there's a ton of water in this you want that light, those lighter parts to come through. Keep some white in there. You don't have to keep it too too white, but if you give it the white areas, you're going to get a lot more depth. I'm going to just pull out some color using a tissue. Okay. So there's our first bloom. We'll go back in and we'll add in a little bit darker areas. And then a little bit more water. The darker areas again. Don't be too even with everything, just let it flow. You might want your bottom half a little darker so that the light comes from here and the, the dark is from there. Okay, I'm going to just take a little bit of the green and um, drop a few drops of green. I know that looks weird but it once it blooms you won't believe how that turns out okay so we'll let that one kind of do its thing while we're working on the purple one or the blue one so pick up I'm using indigo of course and a little bit of this uh, purple that I have I think it's quinacridone purple I'm going to do it real washy. Very washy. Using lots of water. If it looks too even, just take a little bit out with your tissue and go back in. Now I'm going to add in the blue. I guess I like this to be a little more blue in areas. And I'm going to put in some of the water so that I get those darks and lights. I'm adding purple back in. It's very easy to do this. Now I'm going to just soften the edge a little bit with water. That's that borrowing technique we learned in class. Just borrow a little bit of the paint and just soften those edges. I don't mind that it's touching or that it's running together there. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with the green and add those dots of green. I 
as this pink one is drying back, you can kind of tell how it is blooming. And once it blooms a lot more, then we're going to go back in and put in <coughs> um, more detail. Let's go ahead and add the stalk to our blossoms, our blooms. And they are very uh, thick. And this one's going to come in over here. Let's see. Let's put a, a stalk right here and then have it come out here. Let's go ahead and do a leaf. Um, this one's going to come kind of to the side here. And then a little bit darker will indicate that it's folded over on itself. And then they have this natural kind of doesn't have to be perfect. Just keep it nice and natural. Okay. Do another big leaf up here. And keep these kind of dark. You can add back in that indigo. a little bit of jaggedness on the edge and do the top part of that or the other side of that leaf and again I like to use the white to indicate the vein there we go and I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of water to give those blooms that I like. Um, a little bit of, let's do another leaf right over here. It looks pretty, I think. And where it goes behind, just kind of, you know, figure out how that would work. And again, just a little bit of jagged and this one's going to go behind so we're going to just kind of curve right there and fill it in um, okay while this is still drying, I'm going to go in and add some leaves here. And this one's going to be more of a backward, a backward leaf, I guess. I don't know how to say that. I'm adding a little vindigo to my green. And I'm going to go and make this. in there and then on this side there's that leaf let's go ahead and add another one in here dark as I want it to be and maybe I'll add just a smidge more of the indigo and again the jagged edge and 
that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go back in and just finish up the details on the bloom right in here. And I've just got more of a concentrated, um, you don't want these to be every really even, but just a few dots of the green. that pretty much does it. So there's your hydrangea. Very easy. Um, it's it's kind of washy but it turns out very nice. 